Hi, and welcome to another episode of Open at Microsoft. In this episode, we will be talking about Inspector Gadget integration with AKS VS Code extension. Today, we are joined by Jose, who is part of Inspector Gadget team. Hi, Jose. Hi, Todd. Thank you for the invitation. I'm thrilled to be here. As you mentioned, I'm one of the maintainers of Inspector Gadget, so let's start. Yeah, welcome. So tell us something about Inspector Gadget as a tool. Okay, Inspector Gadget is a framework that allows you to run eBPF programs or gadgets, as we call them, on a Linux host or a containerized in a containerized environment like Kubernetes. With the team, we have identified a set of common issues and scenarios that people face frequently, and we created a set of gadgets that will help them to troubleshoot those issues. Some of the areas that we are trying to cover with our guidance is networking, that is always a problem, and load saturation. So I think we can jump into the demo. That's awesome. Yeah, sure. So um, for the audience who haven't uh, seen this extension yet, they can go to their extension manager and type AKS under the Microsoft Publisher. That's where they can install this extension. Since I have already installed, it'll appear as this icon on your toolbar. Once you'll go in here, this extension is the Cloud Explorer extension, and you will see your subscription appear. Once you'll find the cluster where we need to deploy, let's take one of the demo cluster. I'll select the menu called Show Inspector Gadget. Upon that, it's going to serve user with the screen. In this case, we haven't deployed this Inspector Gadget tool. So let's deploy it. OK, that is your one. I can talk a little bit about what is happening when you deploy Inspector Gadget. OK, when you deploy it, what it happens is that the client will create a pod inside each node. And that pod will be in charge of collecting information from every node and send it back to the client. Then the client will merge all the information and show it to the user, giving them a view of the whole cluster. And that's uh, one point I would say where all the heavy lifting is done by the VS Code extension. So all that which Jose said is being done by VS Code under the hood under as part of this extension. Now let's explore. Yeah. Um, let's explore trace command. Uh, we created a workload for this specific um, demo, I think, Jose. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about the specific scenario? Yes. yes. With a, this water lock that we created, we are trying to simulate a scenario where we have an application that is trying to connect to two external services, and one of them is facing some issues. As you know, in networking, we always say it is always DNS. So let's see if it is the case. For this case, given that we are trying to uh, debug our specific application, it is perfect to filter by our pod, as you do. Uh, that's right. And off we go. We are going to simply just trace our DNS just in a couple of clicks. Yeah. And so for the output that we get, what you normally have for, from gadgets is that you have the Kubernetes metadata in the first columns. So node, then space, and pod. Then you have the command information. And then you have the specific information for the gadget. Let's focus first in the name column. As you can see, we can see that our application is trying to connect to two different services, runurl.test and example.com. So uh, for instance, the line you are selecting, you, we can see that we are receiving a response for the example query, and we have no errors and one answer. Instead, for the second, in the second line, for instance, we have we are receiving a response for the wrong URL, and the response code is NX domain, which means a non-existent domain. So it is clear that one of the services is being able to resolve it, and for all, for the other services, we are getting an NX, NX domain that it means that we're not able to resolve. And indeed, doing that, we can confirm that it was DNS the problem. <laughs> 
That's awesome. And just in a couple of clicks, user can do that. Just for usability as well, we have, while the trace is going on live, user can use this I button to actually pause, and then they can analyze what's going on. Let's jump on to another command, awesome. Jose. Um, top. Let's pick up top TCP in this instance. Yep. Also here, we prepare a small workload. And what we want to see this time is to see uh, what is happening in the whole cluster. So we will monitor what are the applications that are generating more traffic. And in this case, and you, as you can see, we, what we did was to create a workload that is generating a lot of traffic. And in the first slide, we see our application that is in the last two columns showing that it's sending a lot of traffic and the other one is receiving because they are communicating with other. And again, in this view, we have the Kubernetes metadata, the command that is generating the traffic, and then the information of the specific traffic, source IP, destination IP, and the amount of traffic that we are sending. So it is great to see how many resources uh, the application is consuming, and it is also applied for other kind of resources like writing in the disk or any other other things like that that's awesome and that's all this without leaving your vs code editor so this one integration which makes things very easy and for the audience in order to delete these you they can select the uh, run gadget moment and they can just click on the delete once this debuggability is done user can also undeploy this tool once the work around diagnosing the DNS issue or TCP dump or many other gadgets with Inspector Gadget provide. At that point of time, I would like to introduce some material like Inspector Gadget documentation. And for the marketplace, user can go to the VS Code marketplace and look for the Azure Kubernetes services. There are various resources available in this and linked to the GitHub repository as well. So user can feel free to add their valuable feature requests. Thank you so much, Jose, for your demo. And I hope people will find it very handy for running Inspector Gadget in just one click in VS Code AKS extension. I'm sure they will. Thanks a lot.